Today we're, uh, we're at the Cumberland River Aquatic Center. We deal with all aquatic species, uh, mostly threatened and endangered species, or with an emphasis on freshwater mussel. We uh, received about 6,500 young of year lake sturgeon from Genoa National Fish Hatchery. We uh, kind of branched out at our beginning facility, started the lake sturgeon over there, holding them there for a little bit to grow them out a little bit more before we put them back into the Cumberland River. And we had such good success there that we carried it on here. <laughs> Today, we're letting them go at a smaller size, which is fine. That's what we've always done in the past. But the ones that we're able to hold over, we can let them go at this size. This is about a year old fish that we've grown out here at the facility. Uh, we keep this one on hand for educational programs and, and do some research with mussels. Today, what we're doing is removing scutes. It's the bony plates down the side of the fish. We simply scrape two of those off. We're removing the first and second scute on the left side. Uh, last year, we removed the seventh and eighth scute on the right side. We alternate the scheme of those scute removals so we can identify those fish by year. We're gonna divide those up here on the Cumberland River. We'll have about 2,000 uh, that goes into Cordell Hall at Roaring River. About 2,000 that goes in at Hunter's Point on Old Hickory, and about 2,000 that's going in at Shelby Bottoms Nature Center on Cheatham Reservoir. In the Tennessee River, we've now started going back and sampling for those fish that we stocked back in 2000, and we're actually finding fish from every year that we have stocked fish in the Tennessee River. So that means that we have survivors from every stocking that we put in the Tennessee River. That just makes for a better population. Lake sturgeon is one of our oldest fish species that we have in Tennessee. They are or were around when the dinosaurs were around. These fish are very long lived. They can live up to 150 years, get up to six, eight feet long, and weigh upwards of 200, 300 pounds. Uh, we've not been stocking long enough in Tennessee to see any reproduction, but we're only maybe 10 years out to see natural reproduction. We ask all fishermen if they catch a sturgeon, please release it as quickly as possible. They can take a picture and then report that to TWRA. Go online, uh, get the information off of our website. We do have a certificate program where if you catch and release a sturgeon in Tennessee, that you can call in, report it, and we will send you a certificate. It's a really nice memento of your catch of that fish and release, that you've done something to make sure that sturgeon continue in the waters of Tennessee. The restoration efforts look uh, very promising in Tennessee waters. We've been stocking sturgeon in, to the Tennessee River since 2000, stocked over 180,000 fish into the, the Tennessee River, and we're finding fish of every year class that we've stocked, having reports from anglers over there, catching fish up to 60 inches, uh, getting reports from Alabama, commercial fishermen, catching a few fish in the six to seven foot range, and we're getting several reports from Lake Barkley of fish up to five, six feet long that's being caught and released. We have over 320 reports of sturgeon being caught since 2006. Our goals in the sturgeon reintroduction is to restore this fish to a sport fish species, um, to take it from the, the state endangered list and be able to restore those fish, have a breeding population, and to be able to support a sport fish fishery in the state of Tennessee.